Well, folks, another day in the police state, another day in sunny Southern California. Yes, sunny Southern California, folks. Seems like it never rains in California, just like that song from the early 70s. Well, let me tell you what the problem is, folks. This is Joe Embriano, once again, coming to you from the Agenda 21 scientific kill grid called Orange County, California, where everybody just is happy as a clam, playing with their wireless gadgets and watching the, the television programs and all the mindless nonsense that the Illuminati... Uh, Illuminati sex slave whores uh, dance around on television and portray themselves in a ritualistic fashion that goes right over most of your heads as they dry us out and they set the stage for a famine, folks. Because let me explain something to you. Some of you have been living in Southern California your whole life, as I have. And some of you have parents that have lived in Southern California their whole life. And this is all you know. And to be honest with you, this is all I ever knew until I ventured out and traveled around the country and got in airplanes and realized that this is not representative of what the majority of the United States is. I mean, everything is provided for us here. You can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, take your pick. You can spend a dollar, two dollars, or three dollars, depending upon how quickly you want to plug up your arteries with all the dimethyl siloxane sludge fried french fries and fake meat hamburgers. And if you want to travel inside this prison, you can go to the gas station and fill up your tank. You can go over there and get some money out and buy some aspartame gum. You can get some candy bars or you can get some gut dissolving Pepsi that'll eat your teeth up and eat your bones up and uh, you know if you need to get your eyes fixed you can go to the optometrist right here and uh, they'll fix up your eyes and if you want to communicate with people and send texts of your buddies you can get on your phone and communicate via AT&T and uh, you get a flat tire you know the truck the truck will deliver tires to the tire store and if you want some Korean food, you can go to the Korean restaurant and you can get whatever you want there. But here's the deal, folks. It's all dependent upon a distribution system that is dependent upon rain. It's dependent upon water. And what they have control over, and when I say they, I mean they, the government and the non-governmental entities that run these clandestine operations that are modifying our weather, they have control over the weather, folks. And what that means is that you don't, and that we're at their mercy. And we're in February, folks. It hasn't rained since February of last year. And every time we have a chance for rain, the lines show up in the sky a couple days before. And last night, we had a little chance of showers. That's what it was called, according to the National Weather Service. And I was looking at the wind coming in, and this stuff came ashore last night and it was about eight o'clock that I started noticing what appeared to be squalls which are basically those big big puffy clouds moving on shore and they should have been coming out of the southeast and they eventually were but what I also noticed was a massive amount of chemical spraying on top of those squall lines that were coming in and we got nothing out of those those clouds except for just a, a little sprinkling just enough to make the cars dirty but that's all they want you to have folks because what they've set up here is a gigantic prison. And look around. I want to ask you all a question. You see anything to eat anywhere? You see anything growing anywhere? Do you see anything to eat? Every single person in this prison, this matrix, is totally dependent on the food distribution system. And the food distribution system is based on suppliers. Now, with this drought, what's happening as they implode the economy and make us more and more in debt and underemployed and take away our resources from us so we lose more and more of our freedom, we are dependent upon them for everything, especially food. And if there's a breakdown in the system, 
I don't think the churches are going to help you folks because they're too busy collecting money and lying to everybody about what's going on. The government's not going to be there because look what they've done in Puerto Rico. Those are our brothers and sisters. They're American citizens, folks, and half that country is without, ele without electricity and running water. But it's okay right now because KFC is open, and you can get on the freeway, and you can still go to Vegas, and you can go get a hotel because your credit card still works, and you can get pretty much anything you want right now. But that's all about to change. Pay close attention, folks. Pay close attention to what they've set up for us here. There's cameras all over the place. Everything is controlled, folks. Without food, you can't survive. And what they've done is they've managed to put us into a very nice climate and a very false sense of reality to where there's nothing to eat. And let me explain something to you, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to understand this. This is a very important point. This is Orange County, California. This is Beach Boulevard. This is a very well-traveled street. And around me, and in front of me, and behind me, and above me, the 91 Freeway, we are surrounded by millions of meat eaters. Let me repeat that. We are in this matrix, this prison, as we pass the steakhouse, as we pass Burger King, as we pass a memory to the bodies. We are surrounded by meat eaters. Does that concern you? It should. Because let me tell you something, folks. If something goes down, whether it be a catastrophic earthquake or a massive economic collapse that totally tightens up the credit markets, that makes it impossible for food to get distributed, for fuel to be produced, for things to be imported, guess what's going to happen? People are not going to go hungry. When you're surrounded by millions of meat eaters and there's nothing to eat, it's going to be you for dinner. There's a reason that the elite have built underground facilities, massive underground facilities, folks. They exist under the military bases in Southern California. There's a massive underground facility at Camp Pendleton. There's a massive underground facility at Los Alamitos in the Naval Weapons Shipyard area. And there's a massive tunnel system under the United States for the elite to travel to and fro. They have a place to go when it hits the fan. They're drying us out for a reason. They're stopping the rain for a reason, folks. It's all part of a plan. The plan is, is to get us to our knees. Food right now is dirt cheap. And that's a false sense of reality, folks. I've lived in Southern California since 1968. My dad was an Italian immigrant, and he grew up on a farm. And when we lived in Garden Grove, he had a farm in the backyard. And he knew how to grow food, and he taught me how to grow food. And let me tell you something. Growing food is not easy. Even in ideal climates, with decent supplies of water, which was the case in the 60s and the 70s, and even in the early 80s in Southern California, it was hard to get food out of the ground then. You had to deal with bugs and disease, and you had to deal with soil depletion, mineral deficiencies. So now, it's not raining, and most of you have no place to grow food. Most of you don't understand what it takes to grow food. And then the majority of you don't have any place to grow food. So what is the solution here? I think you better start thinking about several things folks number one is self-defense because if you do end up on the menu you know being surrounded by meat eaters millions of them who are not prepared for anything and most people today are morally bankrupt and they will kill you to get what they want if they're in a desperate enough situation that's a fact the people today first of all are not the same people we grew up with as children they were not schooled in the Western thought of Judeo-Christian ethics. The majority of the people that have come to Southern California weren't born here. And where they come from is a culture of death. And they brought that with them. 
And it's still, even though they may not be wearing it on their sleeve, it's still in their minds. They have to do what they have to do to survive. Most people here that have come here are in survival mode because of the economic conditions. And if something gets really out of control, what, whatever crisis may befall us, you will see people's true colors. So you must defend yourself. You must own guns. You must learn how to use them. You must understand that there will come a time and a place when the government is not going to protect you. Not that they ever have, but most people think that the government will protect them when something bad happens, when in fact the police have no duty to protect or serve. As a matter of fact, they're nothing but agents of the municipal corporation to make sure that the entire population ends up in some form of receivership. That's what the court system is all about, and that's what the legal system is all about, folks. Number two, you must have food. I repeat, you must have some sort of food and medical supplies. You cannot rely on a hospital. It's not going to be there for you when it's overrun. You can't even get into the ER right now on a normal night, much less when something bad happens. Number three, you must have an ample supply of water. This is Southern California, folks. We're living in a desert. Just because your shower keeps running until you shut it off doesn't mean that's always going to be the case. We are in the most severe emergency situation of our water supply that Southern California has ever been in, folks. I think the Sierra snowpack is far below the record lows that we had during the depths and the throes of the drought. We are so behind in our reserves for snowfall and our water accumulation that we are going to be facing massive draconian water restrictions very shortly and they're going to come down like a hammer. They're going to come down to these cities and they're going to say you're going to shut this stuff off and you're going to shut these people off. It will probably come down to the point where we will be having access to water on certain days of the week if they don't allow this rain to come. And it doesn't look like it, because I heard on the news that they're talking about we're between a La Nina and an El Nino weather event, which is a bunch of bullshit. We are still in an El Nino pattern, folks. They have disrupted it with all of the chemical spraying and the electromagnetic interference from the phased array radar installations and the ground-based wireless infrastructure that's got cables that are five inches thick with power generating systems on them the size of shipping containers. They're causing this drought. This is an Agenda 21 geoengineered chemically and radio frequency electromagnetically induced drought. And it's all part of a larger plan, folks, to get you more and more dependent and get you on your knees. Most people are on their knees already and don't even realize it because they spend their lives on their knees just pushing buttons waiting to be served. Folks, wake up. You push the din din bell one of these days and it's not going to work. You can't think that this is going to continue, folks, because the rest of the world lives in squalor and poverty. And that's their plans for us. And the last form of freedom that we have is our food supply. We used to be the largest producer of food in the world, folks. They've stumped all the groves up north. They've gotten rid of all the farms. They've asphalted all the farmland. And they've covered it up with strip malls, porno joints, and liquor stores. This right here used to be a berry farm. I'm on Beach Boulevard. Now it's a porno shop and a dog grooming place and a gas station. Some of the richest farmland in the United States is covered up with blacktop. And now all the water runs off into the ocean when it rains. Folks, wake the heck up. I'm not even going to get into what else they have planned for you, like the forced vaccinations and the 5G. I've already covered all that. But what you've got to understand is that you need to take steps now as insurance, as a hedge against what is guaranteed to happen. Go to the 99 cent store and get some Mylar bags with some oxygen absorbers and start packing away some beans and rice instead of buying that latte and pulling into that store with the picture of the siren on the, on the outside of it and all that creepy new age music they got you listening to thinking everything's okay that ain't. Spend that Starbucks money on some food preparation, folks. Open your eyes. Go out and get yourself some ammunition. Go get some guns. Get ready to prepare yourself. I'm saying to take a defensive position and make provision for your family. Because most people are just living for the weekend to go visit one of these places and go get hammered 
and listen to the crazy music and watch the crazy movies. This is John Briano, folks. Don't fall victim to this dirty trick that's being perpetrated on you by very evil people. Wake up out of your slumber and get prepared.